wondering what I would do. <laughs> I think I'm hitting uh, one of the hot spots because I'm not very cold right now. Here, but, um, yeah. uh, I'm Larry Coughlin from Factor Fake, the effects specialist. <coughs> Joe Murphy, Factor Fake, science. <laughs> Austin Porter, also Factor Fake. I just get to work with these guys. <laughs> you can pass it back that way. I've got my own. I've got my own on a stand, and it's louder than yours. How about that? So we're going to uh, conduct this panel. There's no real organization to it. I'm going to throw out some questions. And if you have any questions, you can ask them. You can either stick up your hand or you see this microphone standing right down here. You can come right down to the front in this aisle and ask your question for any of these guys. But to sort of make it nice and short and concise, what we do is we try to validate video by trying to replicate it. We're not necessarily uh, trying to, in every case, just go beyond that. It's all about focusing on the evidence that we've accepted as a case. And if we can replicate it, then perhaps we've, maybe we have solved it. Even if we do replicate it, we don't necessarily feel that we have the right to say, okay, this is exactly how it happened. It's, they, it still could have an explanation that can be considered Paranormal. Okay. How many of you here have, have seen Fact or Fake yet? Okay. Oh, a bunch of you. All right. And now, if you have any questions, remember, you can raise your hand if you don't want to come running. Yes, way back there. If you want to, you can run up to the microphone and everybody can hear you or just shout it out in your best theater voice. Sure, would you? It's, it's actually... I, it started with Ben, so most of us know Ben. These guys knew Ben before I did, but... Yeah, so, so your question is, did we all know each other? Larry and Austin knew Ben well before I did, but once we, once Ben and I met as well, I met everybody, um, a rapport developed really, really quickly. And you know, we stayed in touch um, before the show even got the green light, it was already, dialogue and ideas and you know we were comparing case notes of things that we would like to be able to cover so we became friends before the the show got greenlit by the network now bill let me ask you about your documentary history that you that you've been involved how much do you find that that is helpful to what you're doing in your show having been producer director writer of documentaries how has that helped what you do with fact or fake it helps because, you know, unlike, say, an investigation of a building like this, where you're running around with your own recording equipment, trying to get your own evidence, when you're doing a show, you do have to pause for a moment to allow the camera team to get in position. It doesn't mean that we don't take off and run from them if something is happening and we want to get there right away. And you hear them behind you shouting, hey, can you wait? Is there, a lot of, <laughs> is there a lot of running away from the cameras? Uh, it's, sometimes it's just spontaneous. I mean, you know, we're, what we do is very organic on the show. And so we will research a case and then we will establish um, goals that we have for that case. But it's still unscripted TV. And so there's two things to consider. One, things will happen right in front of you that you're not prepared for. Uh, but two, you have to try to stick to those goals that you established before you go to the location. I was just wondering what I would do. Mm -hmm.